it's Money Monday, and today we are getting a master class in entrepreneurship from a true pioneer who's changing the fashion industry as we know it, from starting her own company at the age of 26 to being the first black female investor on Shark Tank. She is paving the way for women and minority entrepreneurs. Please, everyone, welcome co-founder and CEO of Good American and the founding partner of Skims, Miss Emma Greed. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You know, obviously, you didn't, you know, you didn't, aren't just behind one incredible company, you're behind two. And all the while, you've really focused as your work uh, as chair of the 15% pledge. You have made it part of your mission, not just to have personal success, but to lift up other people, other women who look like you. Tell us why that was so important as you made your way. Well, you know, I think as a black female founder and CEO, it's always been important to me to prioritize diversity in my businesses. And I honestly believe that part of the success of the companies that I've founded has been because there are lots of different opinions in the room. You know, to me, diversity is an absolute superpower in business. And so it just makes sense that having, you know, people from different backgrounds, from different races, different ages, different economic backgrounds, it actually means that you make more sense to your customers, right? You're closer to your customers, you can make better decisions on their behalf, but it is something that just helps propel and grow businesses, undoubtedly. Yeah, and, and all great advice. And a lot of times the hardest part is figuring out how to start. And yes. so you say the number one thing you need to focus on is what are you passionate about? And that sounds great, but how do you turn that into a business or into a product? Well, the great thing is, you know, when you can combine those two things. When I start a business, I'm always thinking about white space opportunities, right? Like, what am I trying to solve for? And I think that oftentimes, you know, if you have a problem or if you have a need, chances are other people have that same need. And so I'm really thinking about finding those white space opportunities and really anchoring my idea in them and it helps if it's something that you love and something that you find purpose in because inevitably when things get tough and they always do when you start your own business at least you can come back to having this passion and really feeling for the idea and it gives you a connection to people that's that's so you've got your passion you've got your potential product or business but now you need money oh yes so you, you got fund it and you got to find investors <laughs> yes well you know as an entrepreneur two things really help the first thing is you know being a great salesperson I consider myself a pretty good salesperson <laughs> spent a long time working in various shops and on the shop floor but also being a great storyteller and to be able to go to investors with a very kind of succinct idea of what you're trying to do you know when I started good American with my partner Chloe Kardashian we set out on a mission and it was so simple we wanted to create clothes for all women the best fitting clothes imaginable regardless of your size and shape and what that really did you know solidifying in having this mission was made it really clear like this is what we're doing this is what we stand for these are the investors that make sense these are the retailers that make sense and anchoring yourself in that type of mission means that you're going to find the right people to surround yourself with but you can always come back to that mission we always think about the decisions that we make and centering them around the women that we're trying to serve and i think that that's probably one of the best things an entrepreneur can do yeah and and explain what this is because this might not make a lot of sense to me but to you i'm sure you can put it in layman's terms you say to strategic strategically scale your teams and offerings. Absolutely. And that's one of the most important things. And scaling businesses means, you know, you have to do a lot of different things in order to prepare for scale. But one of the most important things is making sure you have the right people within your business that are going to help you get there. Nobody is perfect. And I think one of the things that I've done really well is like hire for my blind spots. Again, it comes back to this idea of diversity in your team, making sure there are people that know the things that you don't and really empower empowering those individuals to make decisions in your business. Having a good team is like the single best thing that you can yeah. do. Yeah, and you also want to make sure that that's a lasting team and a lasting product. You want to ensure longevity and sustainability. How do you do that? Well, that's all about having a plan. Everyone <laughs> needs a plan and you need a big picture vision, right? I think that vision is often underthought about in so many businesses. I think about the thing, you know, what's happening in 10 years time? What do I want that to be? And then, you know, 
your plan is like, how am I getting there? How do I create these bite-sized moments that are going to help me get to that big picture vision? And again, I feel like I've done that time and time again. We did it at Skims. We did it at Good American. Even with something like Safely, you know, we had a mission. We said, we want to remove toxins from American homes, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we wanted to do. But essentially, we created a product line that was really small and really succinct. And we said, what's something everybody uses? We want to create hand washes and we want people to fall in love with the smell of those hand washes. And from there, we've been able to build a huge, huge brand. But it was really about having that big picture vision in the beginning. I love it. And your enthusiasm is infectious. Emma Green, <laughs> thank you so much for being with thank us. Thank you. This is so wonderful. Yeah, congratulations on me. all your continued success. All thank right. You. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.